Tesla may be facing serious competition soon, a hitchhiking robot, and the latest on rail safety. This is your Manufacturing Minute. Welcome to the Manufacturing Minute. I'm today's host, John Minnick. Just as Tesla announces a ludicrous speed upgrade for its Model S electric sedan, there's news that the company may be getting some stiff competition from the mysterious new Faraday Future. Not much is known about Faraday Future, but it has been hiring former talent from Tesla, GM, Ford, and Fiat Chrysler. Faraday's site features a highly conceptual rendering of a car it plans to launch in 2017, promising it will be 100% electric, zero emission, fully connected, and personalized in ways you've never even considered possible. Having already traveled across Canada and Europe, the developers of a hitchhiking robot placed its thumb in the air in Massachusetts in hope of catching rides to San Francisco. Hitchbot is examining how travelers interact with a robot that needs their help rather than the other way around. The robot can carry on a limited conversation, but no word yet on just how long it can hold its oil. Just keep your circuits crossed until the next exit, Hitchbot. Finally, legislation advanced by a Senate committee could delay needed transportation safety requirements indefinitely, critics say. While those in favor of the measure, which includes reducing NHTSA funding to delaying requirements for new brakes on crude oil trains, say the reforms are needed as agencies have issued regulations that unfairly penalize companies without improving safety. The controversy will need to be resolved quickly since lawmakers face a deadline to pass a sweeping transportation funding package at the end of the month. So what do you think? With record auto recalls and high-profile train wrecks, it seems this legislation brims with industry-sought provisions that would block, delay, or roll back safety rules for the auto and railroad industries. Should there be a bigger focus on moving transportation safety legislation forward? Or does the industry already have too much regulation? Email us or leave your comments below. That's all the time we have for today, but check out our sites every Tuesday and Thursday for your next Manufacturing Minute. Thank <laughs> you.